welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the last trip I took pre-COVID-19 and it is to Indiana Dunes. So let's get started and talk about my trip. Indiana Dunes is about an hour away from Chicago. For all of my locals out there, if you want the benefits of exploring nature, I highly recommend it. It is a massive state park where you can do a lot of recreational activities. A lot of outdoor recreational activities such as hiking, biking, kayaking, and if you do want to stay overnight, there is a camping ground as well. So this video is tailored to show you um, how to take a day trip to Indiana Dunes. So the first pit stop I recommend is Gary, Indiana. Why do I recommend Gary, Indiana? Yes, I know there is absolutely nothing to do there. As soon as you drive into Gary, it is honestly dead. It is the truth. There is, I, I don't believe there's anything to do there. There is a lot of history there, so I only recommend that you check it out because Gary, Indiana is home to the Jackson family. So yes, that is where Michael and Janet Jackson were born. That is where the Jackson 5 band started. And so as soon as you drive into Gary, you are gonna see a massive mural with the Jackson 5 group. And if you keep driving into the city, you are gonna be able to see the outside of their birthplace. However, it is not open to the public. It is a very tiny house. And so one can only wonder how um, a large family grew up in there. Alright, so the second pit stop I recommend is um, Chesterton, Indiana. It is a town that is south of Indiana Dunes. And so, yes, you may be asking, what are you recommending in this tiny town? So there is a particular brewery in this town that is specifically veteran owned. So the name itself tells you that they make their own beer. And to add a more unique element to the beer menu, all of their beers are named after local veterans. If you wanna try more than one beer, go ahead and order a beer flight. They do have that available on the menu. So enough with pit stops, let's go ahead and talk about Indiana Dunes. So what is Indiana Dunes? What is a sand dune? A sand dune is a hill of sand formed over many years after constant winds have trapped sand into beach grass. And that's it. So I hope I was able to provide some good recommendations and I want to go ahead and show you some of the footage that I was able to take on the trip. <laughs> So here we are trying to look for Devil's Slide. So as soon as like you walk into Indiana Dunes, um, there's like a like a, sl uh, a passageway up there. So we're gonna try to race it, and maybe like we'll find Devil's Slide. Maybe that is Double Slide. We don't know, but we'll figure that out. Ready? Okay. <laughs> okay, we officially ran up the hill. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we ran, we paused, we ran, but still, I caught it. <laughs> Some people like to bring their own sleds and slide down the dunes. Change things up. <laughs> We're gonna explore trail number eight. I'm assuming it's eight meters long. Draw 2.5 miles of rugged <laughs> northern Indiana terrain. 
<laughs> Honestly, like these little plants are dangerous. Like if I'm just walking by and they prickle me, I could sue the park. <laughs> Life hack. <laughs> Ready? We are ascending the stairs to heaven. We are the chosen ones. <laughs> You're like not even off the ground. It's the funniest part. Can you help me? <laughs> okay, what do you want me to do? Let a woman show you how to cross. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>